Well, good morning, YouTube. I'll we'll go ahead and do the intro. This is Arizona RE. I'm doing the intro just in case this video actually works out. I imagine that these lights are going to oversaturate the camera lens when it's trying to compensate for all the darkness in the background. Traveling east, so the sky should look lighter. I've noticed on these cameras that it tends to do that. But I think there's so many clouds in the sky right now, you can't even see a hint of the snow, uh, <laughs> a hint of the sun glowing off in the distance. Whereas normally you can even before it uh, it starts to shine on the mountain. There's a time it's 5:30 exactly, and uh, this is actually more traffic than I usually see. 5:30 in the morning. to be a 67 or maybe even a 69 El Camino. It's definitely one of the older ones because it's got the body that looks like a Chevelle. Or a Le Mans. But for some reason he's in he's content to go about five under the limit. So this will be the first footage you guys have seen with me on uh, on a highway. All right, that green line means that we can make it. Yay! Suicidal moth. Boo! That there's someone in front of me. every on-ramp can be a quarter mile run I like to sit in the middle lane because then I gotta watch for traffic on both sides this bike gets me fast enough I can go in the fast lane and not worry too much about it so over here on my right is a train yard. It's a Tucson rail yard. And uh, it, I don't know, that thing is probably 30 or 40 tracks wide. And there's always trains going in and out of there. Oh, there's a real strong smell of diesel. When you're riding through this part. See flashing red lights up ahead. What's this about? Right on a curve that could be ugly. Oh, never mind. It's a bicyclist with red strobes on the back of his bike. Let's say it's an attention getter. There's Davis Mothin Air Force Base. Bunch of hangars over there. Getting ready to merge with some other traffic. So I'm gonna let you folks go. Almost to work anyway. Not much left to see. I'll pick you up this afternoon. Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Riding home with me today. With some pretty significant wind gusts going on right now. It's kind of crazy. It's funny, you wouldn't think living in a big city, well, I don't know if you call it a big city, this one's right around a million people. But you wouldn't think that living right in the middle of the city, that you'd run into an issue with uh, running over wildlife. But uh, let's see, nobody ever yields or stops at this stop sign here. Look at this guy's actually going to, it's unbelievable. But uh, the, other, the other morning on my way to work, I'm just cruising along 
on a street in the middle of the city and out from one of the uh, medians that separates the north and southbound lanes you know it, little landscaped medians and uh, out comes this cottontail bunny rabbit darts right in front of me I didn't have any time to react in fact some would say my reaction was even quite callous because I don't think I really blinked or anything by the time I really knew what had happened it was all over yeah, I gotta pass this truck because he's going slow and then uh, the buffeting off of this truck is killing me so I don't even know if you guys can hear this because the wind is terrible right now but at any rate this bunny committed suicide you know I was going maybe 40 miles an hour but uh, apparently just the crushing weight of this bike and of course the crushing weight of me on top of this bike uh, hit the rabbit apparently right behind its neck and when I looked in my side view mirror to see what it was I had run over I could see what looked like the head of the rabbit going one direction and the body going another so when I got to work sure enough I had bunny guts on the front of the bike and uh, there was some fur on the chain I guess I got lucky it didn't get sucked into that chain and derail it somehow but uh, <laughs> yeah pretty gruesome but then here's the weird thing right so you know I'm telling folks about it at work and everything and they come out to look at the fur the bunny fur on the bike and I think yeah after work I'll go and spray it off it's not that big a deal I felt like I had gotten lucky that no uh, you know the bones from the rabbit or something hadn't gone through and punctured the tire or like I said earlier that it hadn't gotten up there and derailed my chain because uh, you know so I thought I felt like I was pretty lucky in that regard but by the time the afternoon rolled around I went out to go get on my bike and I'm setting things down getting ready to put my helmet on and, and everything else and mind you I'm in the middle of a paid parking lot it's not like this is a normal issue and as I'm putting my helmet on I'm kind of looking at the bike and I realize it's covered in ants this bike right here was just covered in ants tiny little ants you know the kind that that come and clear away the the dead crickets and stuff in your yard there were these tiny ants all over my bike and so I had to spend about 15 minutes swiping them off the bike I could have just gotten on and ridden but they were all up in the fairing and they were everywhere I mean they were just everywhere every time you look there was more of them crawling out so I moved the bike and took some time swiping most of them off that I could see the rest of them got blown off on the road I never to get stung or zapped or pinched by one but it was just the weirdest damn thing I was trying to figure it out well, lo and behold by the time I start thinking about why on earth these ants would be trying to invade my motorcycle I mean, what is there on a motorcycle they could possibly want? That's when I realized it was the dead animal. And the bike, by the afternoon, the bike did have just a, a, a slight hint. The bike did have a slight hint of uh, dead animal musk to it. You know, from the, the rotting blood and little bits of flesh. So. I started looking around and, and the very distinct places that I saw uh, little bits of bunny meat on the bike earlier in the morning weren't there anymore. So these ants had done me the favor of cleaning the bike off and that was just incredible. Now, previously on different vehicles and whatnot, you know, I used to do a really long commute. 30 to 50 miles each way and I remember you know getting to work and parking and I'd watch the birds come out of everywhere and they'd hop down onto the front bumper and pick the dead bugs off now that I've kind of seen before you know that sort of parasitic um, hopping onto your vehicle and, and just basically exploiting an opportunity which that's fine nature always manages to find a way to do that sort of thing but I had never experienced uh, ants invading a motorcycle to pick off uh, dead bits of the animal you had previously run over. That was just pretty amazing to me.
So I don't know why I felt like uh, I should share that story with you. I guess, have any of you ever experienced that? Answer in the comments below. Or hell's bells, if it's interesting enough that you're struggling for something to vlog about yourself, by all means, please vlog about it. I'll watch it. In fact, come back come back to uh, the comment section here and leave a link for it. I will gladly go and listen to your vlog about the time you ran over an animal and a bunch of ants came and cleared the body parts off for you because I think that's kind of morbid yet hilarious. It's amazing how effective nature is sometimes. Anyhow, just uh, thoughts on while I'm commuting home, tied up in traffic here. So you folks have a good rest of the day. It looks like my commuting is going to be spoiled somewhat for the next couple of days. Even if I ride to work, I won't be able to vlog because um, I can put the camera in a waterproof case so I can ride with the camera, but that's that's not going to allow me to run the microphone into the GoPro because it's supposed to rain the next two days, next three days actually. And uh, I know what that means. When you get a bunch of fools in the desert who aren't used to much rain and it starts raining, they act like even bigger fools. So, at the risk of having said goodbye a couple minutes ago and still not leaving, you folks have a good night, a good day, wherever you're at when you see this. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. I was hoping there would be a traffic light, my favorite.